Hi, in this video we're going to talk about power pumping. So power pumping is a technique that can be used to help increase supply. Power pumping is a valuable tool for that reason because what it's doing is basically mimicking how a baby would normally cluster feed at the breast. We are stimulating your body, removing milk, and sending signals to tell it to increase supply. This is why I typically use power pumping for a period of one to three days back to back with my clients. It's not something that we're doing every single day and it's not something that we're doing long term. It's for short periods of time along your lactation journey to help support an increase in milk production. So there's a few basic things we need to cover first before we get into how to actually power pump. So when you are pumping and when you are going to power pump, you do want to have a double electric pump. This is one piece of the double electric pump. So you've got the flange, the collection bottle, and I'm not going to talk about all of these other parts in this video, but the double electric pump is ideal because of the process of power pumping, which I'll get to. So we want to make sure that this flange fits you correctly. The flange fit is going to ensure that not only are you comfortable, but it's going to also help maximize the amount of milk you collect, which is ultimately going to help maximize the amount of milk you can produce. Sizing your flange can be done with the find your flange fit link, but it's important to note that your flange, flange size can change. It might not be the same throughout the course of your whole breastfeeding journey. And this is normal because as your hormones change and fluctuate, your nipple size can actually change. It's also not uncommon if you need two different sizes. You need something for the left and something totally different for the right. That is a complete normal variation. So keep those things in mind when you are sizing yourself for flanges. But we do wanna make sure that this fits you comfortably before we begin any pump session, not just a power pump session. The next thing we wanna have is a wearable pumping bra. So something that's going to allow you to be hands-free during the process of power pumping. So you can purchase a bra that allows your flanges to fit in it. You can wear a nursing tank top and what you actually do is unclip the, the straps and put the flange on and then the strap comes around the other side and clips up to hold the flanges in place. But we definitely wanna make sure your hands are free. The reason that I encourage that is not only so that you can freely eat or drink because the technique of power pumping takes an hour to commit to, but also this is going to ensure that you can practice what's called hands-on pumping. Hands-on pumping is valuable at any point in your breastfeeding journey. You can do it at any of your pump sessions. It does not have to just be with power pumping. Hands on pumping, we've measured our flanges, we know they fit, we have a hand-free pumping bra. And what we're going to do is when the pumps are on, so imagine I have both of these on, my hands-free pumping bra, the pump is running. The reason the bra is important is because your hand is free to now gently compress and massage the breast as you're pumping. And what this does is actually helps increase the amount of milk you collect to the point where we have research studies that demonstrate up to 50% increase in volume. So this means not only did you collect more milk, but you removed more milk from the breast. So that's what's going to help drive your supply and continue to support an increase in milk production. Using that technique also helps get the very sticky fat that sometimes gets stuck in the milk ducts out. So it also helps support your baby's growth, although baby needs all kinds of milk, not just the very fatty milk. But we wanna make sure that our hands are free because doing hands-on pumping, especially during a power pump session, is just really going to help support that increase in milk production. When it actually comes time for power pumping, it is a very simple process. It's just something that you need to commit to. So I always encourage my clients to find a time of day where they have the most support and they feel that they're going to be able to commit to a power pumping session. It is 
one hour of your time and that's just the time spent pumping. That's not the time also required for setup and cleaning and washing of the parts after. This is why it's really helpful for many of my clients to do that in the evenings when their partner is home and they can be on call for baby so that you can be the one pumping. We want to dedicate this hour to you. I always encourage you to think about yourself as well as your baby. Putting aside an hour for pumping can feel like a daunting task. Pumping is already a lot of work and to have to think about doing it for one hour can bring up a lot of emotions. So what I like to encourage is that you pick your favorite show, listen to a podcast, put on some music, get a nice snack, get a warm beverage, aromatherapy, something that is just going to help you feel warm and cozy and relaxed and really settle in to the pumping session that you have ahead. The process of power pumping is quite simple. I would encourage you to do about five minutes of some gentle breast massage where you're just massaging the breast in circles, moving towards the areola. We just want to help get that milk flowing. From there, once you've got the pump on, you're going to pump on a comfortable setting for you for 20 minutes and then we're going to turn the pump off for 10 minutes. So during that 10 minutes, you're not taking the pump off, you are staying attached to the pump. This is why we want to be reading a book, watching a show, you know, doing something else to help us relax. After that 10 minutes has passed, turn the pump back on for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, we want to turn it off for another 10, then we want to turn it on for another 10. That is going to give us our one hour session. When the pump is on, you can be doing those compressions and massage to encourage the output. And I want to caution you on something. Do not be discouraged if after that very first power pump session, you don't see any more milk in this collection bottle. That's okay. The important work is the time you just spent pumping. That one hour of stimulation of on and off is what's telling your body, okay, we need to start making more milk. This baby needs more milk. That is what is going to change your supply. So please do not be discouraged or alarmed if after that first session, even after that second or third session, you're not seeing large amounts or increased amounts in the collection bottle. I promise you, you are putting in the work and your body is getting the signals to help support an increase in milk production.